I just want to show a demonstration of why I don't use cheap Amazon fuses. Now, there's a video from Lewis Rossman from about a year ago where he did this testing and I decided I have to try it for myself. So I don't have, he had three different, he had 15 amps available. I have one thing that does 10 amps, so that's about, I'm not running in series to do that. So we're gonna test the lower end fuses. So I got her some cheap fuses, which I don't use anymore. Here, I have some here, but we'll pull a two amp fuse. All right, so here, this is a variable load test light. Pretty much it just has resistors and a light bulb. So let me show you. When I put a power on the ground on it, so on the lowest setting, on the lowest setting, it just is this light bulb, which over here says 150 milliamps. Really, it's pulling about 22 milliamps, um, 220 milliamps. So then, if we turn the knob, it puts this resistor. I don't remember the ohms I made it at. You could, if you want to make this, you could check out the gadgets playlist. Um, he has all instructions how to make this. Um, then you have it pulls 1.4 amps, and then the next knob goes to the second resistor, which has about 2.3 amps, and this is the highest I have, which is six amps, or like almost six and a half. If you look over there, six amps and 370 milliamps. So I'm gonna run this through a fuse, put the ground in, and then put a lead right here, which is going to this, and then this is my power lead. So we're gonna start with a, what is this, a two amp. So all the current is gonna be going through this fuse. So we're just gonna attach to these two leads. All right, so right now we're pulling about 150 milliamps, or according to that, we're pulling 220 milliamps. Turn the knob, we are pulling 1.4, so it's still supposed to be in the spec. All right, well now we're going out of the spec. We're at 2.2, .2, but that's usually would take a while till it pops this fuse because they're not, they don't blow instantly from, they're supposed to be able to go a little higher than the rating for a little bit. But we're just gonna jump higher to the six amp. All right, so we're, pulling six amps through this, or according to this, 6.2 amps. Um, I wait a little bit. Could I up this? I could add a test light. This is a four amp test light. It's a H11 light bulb. So, you know, I'll add that in over here. And then, I'll add this under here. So now we're gonna have the six amps of this plus the four and a half amps of this, which is more than 10 amps, but this power supply can only give 10 amps. So it will be giving us 10 amps through this fuse. Uh, if it doesn't pop. Oh my gosh, it's not popping. So you see here it says 5.5 amps, but over here the current that's coming out of it is at 10 amps. So this thing is not popping on a 10 amp fuse. That is impressive. I mean, in a bad way. Um, this could really heat up harnesses if you have constant 10 amps going. The, wow, these are hot. Okay. Should not touch these. They're going to start smoking soon. All right, well, let's pull this one out. I want to see if it's a problem with just the two amp. Like, let me try. What's the next one? I'm assuming they'll all be fine with 10 amps. Well, this one's a three amp fuse. Let's see if that blows. Nope. Maybe the more standard ones they got, they know how to make. Let's try a five amp. Huh, the five amp blows. That is so funny. So they know how to make five amp fuses, but they don't know how to make the two and threes. I guess they're not common, so. See that, it melts and pops like it's supposed to. I mean, it's at 10 amps, it's way higher. I'm assuming it should pop faster. Let's try, what's the next one here? Here, seven and a half amp, let's see if that blows. Now, I don't know if 10 amps technically enough. I mean, no, so they don't know how to make, they only know how to make the, the, 
the classic fuses, like the fives. I mean, I can't test the tens because I don't have higher and I don't want to jump my power supplies in parallel. But <laughs> that's pretty funny. So the five amps blow. Let's test a. You know, I don't. Let's test a known good fuse. I use fuses from Little Fuse. They cost more money, but you're not risking melting your car, I guess. So what's my smallest size I have? We'll test a five. I have a three. I don't have a two to test it, so. The only time I've seen twos are on like GMs and the BCMs. All right, so here's a good fuse. Let's, let's do a real test on it. So this is a three amp. So let's pull the test light out. Wow, this thing's hot. Okay, test light out. And now we're just on 150 milliamps. So anything over three should pop this fuse. Okay, so now we're at 150. 220, I'm just reading this, that's not accurate. It's also from China, it's just as cheap as the fuses I'm testing, so. Um, this is around, this is 1.5. Now this is 2.5, it still shouldn't pop because it's a three amp fuse. Now if I go here, I don't want to test it at six, I want to know if it will pop even earlier. So I'm gonna turn this off, put the test light back in, and this is just a light, so this is four and a half amps. All right, so now let's see if this pops at four and a half amps plus this, so it's like five, it's like, yeah, it's still about four and a half amps. All right, here it goes instant it lit up and popped right away all right well now let's try their five amp fuses so here we have a five amp of a good quality little fuse which i think is the oem manufacturer of a lot of fuses what am i doing wrong where's my other lead oh here wait the question is what do we have here five amps and right here well let's pull the light out Okay, so this is five. Amp. This is gonna be. Let's go right to. Let's just go to six point three and see what happens. All right, so it's about six amps. It's holding. Let's see how long it can hold for. So they are supposed to hold a little higher. It's getting really hot. It's gonna blow any second. She still didn't blow. I think they're supposed to be 125% for like a minute or so, or maybe longer. Weaver Automotive has a whole he has a whole video where he tests fuses and he has the actual data sheet. Alright, well, let's up this. Let's go to let's go down. Ooh, it's it's hot to the touch. This should blow any second. It's I think smoking. Alright, well, we're gonna go down. We'll put a light the light in. So now it's four amps, which should be fine. But now, what's it at? Now it's at 5.7, okay. But now it should blow. And it blew. So four, five, six. It blew at like six and a half amps. The, the five amps I never tested. Let's, let's test the five amps at this if they blow also. See if they're really good. So we're at 6.62 .6 amps. This is what the other one blew at after a few seconds. Now, so you see, this one needs higher to blow, but it does blow at 10 amps. So they're better, but they're not perfect, even the 5 amps. Now, I wanted to see if we could blow a 7.5 amp at 10 amps. Let's see. The fan turned on in my thing, it's pulling 10 amps. It blew. It took like 10 seconds, but it blew. So there you have it. Um, cheap fuses, they're like unpredictable. <laughs> some are good, some are not. But yeah, it's just pretty crazy that many people are putting these in cars because thousands of them sell. And you put this in a module that, a low amp module, especially the two amp fuses, they're for like 
PCMs where you do not want high voltage and you know someone sticks a power probe on the other end it's supposed to pop the fuse to protect the PCM this will let easily over 10 amps through especially on the two the two amps it seems like that's their weak spot the two and the three amps all right thanks for watching